if we were now to continue the same wasteful expenditure and this extravagance were to extend also to the developing countries that is to all the 4 billion people there would be nothing left in the next 50 years for us to consume so all this is just haphazard thinking and wrong planning without any idea about survival about the fact that mankind has to survive for millions of years and we have to live a frugal life just as nature is frugal parsimonious we have also to live a frugal life which is good for our health both inner and out you are saying that uh, if it all of a sudden could develop a new energy source it would not really serve the best of mankind because most likely our minds have not evolved to the point where we can use it properly it would not solve our problem it would add to them it would aggravate them it presently would aggravate. my question about energy ties in with another question i would like to ask gopi krishna and uh, that is one related to population we have two bombs today they are both ticking one is a population bomb and one is a nuclear bomb and uh, many of us feel that uh, both of them are tied in with each other uh, what could we do in order to defuse the population bomb in india i recall uh, the first time i heard the figure of the population in india it was 440 million people and uh, if i'm correct today there is a population of 660 million people this rapid increase has come about in the last 20 years what can we do in order to resolve this uh, could you please uh, talk a little about the population issue in calculating the needs of population we usually do not take the factor into consideration that the human brain is evolving an evolving species needs for each individual more than we assign for it therefore if according to other calculations or our own calculations now earth can sustain a population of say 4 billion then when the factor of evolution is added it would then be able to sustain only 3 billion or even 2 billion that is each individual should have something more for his evolutionary processes than what he would need in the normal way this is not understood anywhere secondly out of this 4 billion population perhaps less than 1 billion has what is sufficient for its needs the other 3 billion has less there is an imbalance so that while this 1 billion will grow in a healthy way the other 3 billions are exposed to the danger of malnutrition and unhealthy growth we should have a population for which we have sufficient out of all that is produced by the earth this can only be possible when the needs of population and the planning done for it to have what it needs is done on a global basis for doing it it is necessary to have a global government of one global confederation or one global system of government in which all nations are in their own place back again to population do you have any specific recommendations how for instance here in india what could india do today in order to curb uh, the population growth what could india do in order to reverse it so that uh, instead of 660 over the next 100 years you would only have 300 million in india they are giving a great emphasis on family planning and spending large sums of money on it but still the funds available for a projects of this kind are not sufficient the population is growing in spite of all the efforts made to control 
there seems to be little chance that these efforts will succeed to the extent of uh, reducing the population to a reasonable figure. So unless some other more effective measures are taken, as I said on a global basis, it is very difficult to expect that the population in India will stop from increasing. We have to find these methods and for this purpose, as I said, global, global planning. There are so many factors. For instance, there are different religions. People of one religion say that family planning is a sin. Others feel that if family planning is done, it would decrease their number and they will become a political minority. So there are so many considerations which we have to keep in view. The population problem might be solved if we understand the true essence and purpose of, of uh, man's life, life yes. and our destiny. Then uh, we might not need the marital planning and we do not need the Planned Parenthood. This education would help mankind all over the earth to know the goal in front of it, to know the life it has to lead, and that will automatically give them information that they should not increase in numbers beyond a certain limit.